sort of look back because I was never into gambling before I, I entered this industry 10, 12 years ago. Uh, and it was always seemingly people's perceptions were this harmless, it's a bit of fun, it's entertainment. And yes, there was the issues and we'll come to those. But certainly I, I'd absolutely agree the last couple of years have, have been relentlessly negative. Yeah. Um, do you think the industry's doing enough to, to tackle those particular things? Because one of the reasons I'm interested in, very much interested in talking to you is you, you're one of the few who would put their head above the parapet and sort of tackle uh, the issues head on. You know, we could literally go through any other company. Nobody, it's certainly at your level, at sea level, would get up and not necessarily defend the industry, but tackle those things head head on. Was that a conscious decision for you to do that? Yeah, I mean, I thought, like you were saying there, I think that um, there it, there are issues around gambling addiction, problem gambling in particular. Um, you know, I, I think those are those are the way running a, a company. Those are the ones you're most conscious of, um, and I think. F for a time, for a long time, people in the gambling industry have sort of ignored that or said that it's not our problem or said it's up to people, you know, who are addicted to be res be more responsible. Um, I think that, and I think in addition to saying that that's not our problem, they're also very quiet about the, maybe putting forward the pos positive aspects of what we offer. Uh, and they just sort of went into a bunker and felt they could never win any of the media discussions. I, you know, you can see over time that that strategy hasn't worked. And the FOB tea, uh, situation um, was obviously a clear failure uh, of the industry to to guide towards a um, a balanced solution, in my opinion. I, you know, yeah. I've never had fobs. I don't really know that much about the data on them, how they worked. But clearly, what where we ended up was an extreme case for the an extremely extreme negative case for the industry. Um, I think there's a couple of others coming with coming the same, but advertising and, and and what the industry is doing around that. There's a couple of key issues where we. You know, the industry needs to get on the front foot and, yeah. and take measures on it, but also be, I don't know if positive is the right word, but you, we yeah. need to get that message out uh, there. It's positive. It's, it's positive. It's about, the, we've, got to get, we've got to get to a point where people firstly understand that a lot of people get a lot of, you know, fun, pleasure, enjoyment out of gambling and are doing it very much in control. And that, you know, you, 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 running the company, you see that every day. You have like a million customers every weekend. You know that that happens to most people. But also there are people, and uh, it's not a sort of, you know, there's not a clear, absolutely clear line between the two, but there are people who are gambling more than they can afford, far more than they can afford. And there are, there are people that are having a terrible issues with addiction yep. that's ruining their lives. Um, and to sort of, you know, ignore that or shy away from that isn't, doesn't, it looks, it comes across rightly to the public, like the industry doesn't care about that thing or, yep. or doesn't, or is sort of blind to the fact that it exists. And what that does is it gives a, it sort of, it takes the, it means that the whole debate is focused on that group and the industry not caring about them rather than a sort of balanced view across the whole. And, and I feel that well, if no one else is going to stand up and say that, I might as well do it, you know. Yeah. Well, no, to be fair, it's, pretty, it's a brave decision to do it because it, the general perception is if you keep your head down and your tin hat on, then the problem will go away, but clearly it never yeah. will. And, and it's interesting that in the last couple of years, it, it's ramped up a, a, a couple of levels, whether it's yeah. the front page of the newspapers or, or the benches of, of politics. And certainly increasingly, uh, we've seen some pretty senior... Um, politicians try to get involved because we're, we're an easy target in, in yeah. many ways. And some of that completely our own yeah. fault. I think there is also a general societal trend in that direction towards um, yeah, less liberalists, rightly or wrongly, less less liberal and more either public health or yeah, some people call yeah. it nanny state. Oh, oh, you know, it can be in its extreme, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to call it that in general.